The first graph we're going to make is a line graph. We make a line graph when both of our variables are continuous. In order to do this, we want to create a new Google Sheets. And we want to type in our data. So if we take a look at that data table, we have the depth in meters. And then we can fill in our data. So go ahead and do that. Once you have your data entered, highlight those fields, click on the Insert Chart button, and you're going to get a variety of different choices. Now we want to make a line graph. It gives us some recommendations. And in this case, we have a very good one right here. Uh, but it's not ready yet. We, we can't, this isn't a correct graph. So let's customize it. So we click on Customization. First of all, the title is wrong. So let's get rid of that title and we're going to call it the rate of oxygen release in a load plant. This was the title of the, uh, the table in our worksheet. Then uh, notice that we have the x-axis depth is labeled and of course depth is our independent variable that goes on the x-axis. On the y-axis is our dependent variable and there's no label here, so we're going to need to label that. So I'm scrolling down where it says axis, horizontal, that's good. Let's leave that alone. Let's go to the left vertical, that's our y-axis. Let's put in a title. In this case, it's number of bubbles, and that is per minute. And as I continue to scroll down, it looks like everything else is good. I have two lines. I know that the blue one is for plant A, the red one is for plant B. I have my axes labeled. So I'm going to update this, and I have my graph. Uh, clicking on the graph, I have uh, various choices. I want to copy this chart, and I am going to put it in my organizing data document that will be turned in momentarily. And that is all it takes to make a line graph. Next, we'll make a bar graph.